Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to give you an update on the one room challenge project for my parents' lake house master bedroom, plus give you some tips on how to choose paint for your own home decor project. Welcome back to my channel again today. Thank you so much for popping in, you guys. It means a lot to me that you are watching my videos and following along on this one room challenge. In case you missed it, I am doing a one room challenge, basically from the studs to finishing, helping my parents finish off their master bedroom in their beautiful lake house. In case you missed the initial post about this and last week's update, I'm gonna leave them up here and in the description box below. Today I wanna show you some of the paint colors we've chosen, plus show you the layout of this space, plus I wanna give you a couple tips on how to pick your own paint color for your own home decor projects. Let's get started. So here's what we have so far for the general paint and floor and trim color scheme for the lake house bedroom. As you can see, it's quite neutral, but we are going to add lots of pops of rich color in the textiles. And if you see the mood board, you will see what colors that we're adding in as accents. And I think they're gonna be so pretty, especially for the fall and the winter. So first off, here is the flooring that we picked out for the entire lake house. It's a laminate flooring and it's just this beautiful whitewashed look. And I think it's just so pretty and so perfect for the lake house. So this will be in the floor not only throughout the master bedroom of the house but throughout the whole thing so that's just a beautiful neutral kind of light flooring now if you've seen the exterior video of the house this is the siding color and it's called clay and it's kind of a warm greeny grayy sort of color so i just put that in here just so you can kind of get to see that we're matching the exterior of the home with the interior that's kind of a whole theme going on Now there is a master bathroom attached to the master bedroom and on the floor is going to be this beautiful faux marble tile. So it's quite classic kind of Hampton style tile and that's also very neutral as well. And for the trim throughout the home and in the master, we are going with this bare color called Ultra Pure White. This is a really beautiful white. It is quite a neutral white, so I don't find there's too many blue or too many um, yellow undertones in this white. So definitely a good choice if you want a neutral sort of white. And when you're looking to choose white colors, definitely make sure to grab a swatch or a sample not only this chip, but a sample color so that you can paint a large area on your wall just to make sure that in the lighting that you specifically have in your home, it turns out how you want it to look. Now my mom and I talked for a long time about the wall color in the master and we both thought it'd be really nice to have a little bit of color. This isn't much, it's still quite neutral and um, almost like a warm gray, but this top color here, it's called Hazy Trail and it does have a green sort of tinge to it. It's a nice warm green. So we kind of wanted to add that little bit of color into the room so it wasn't just all light um, whites and browns and grays, but it had just this little bit of green. Another tip when you're looking at paint colors is if you want your color to have a little bit of an undertone to it, look down on the swatch and you can kind of see the darkest color here it represents the undertone that your light color is going to have. So in this case, this color, this biking trail, is a really warm greeny gray. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it really well on my camera, I hope so. And that's going to be the undertone for this lighter color. So that's definitely helpful when you're choosing a color if you're not too sure about the undertones in the color. So we're going with this one, Hazy Trail, for most of the room, and it's a really gorgeous grayish green color. And then I just put this, this color here in, in our mood board because it is most likely going to be the color of the rest of the walls in the home. It's called Swiss Coffee by Bear, and it's just a beautiful off-white. So the, room, the house is going to be really tone-on-tone -tone white, which I think is fantastic for a lake house look. And it also gives you so many options with uh, textiles and colors that you can use as accents in the home. As far as layout in the home goes, let me show you kind of what we're gonna go for here. Okay. 
Okay, so here's how the room looks essentially. Uh, there's the double door entry and this large area with, it's gonna have the vaulted ceiling. And then we have a porch here and then a bathroom here. So what we're thinking of doing is here's our windows that overlook the lake here. So we're gonna hopefully be able to fit the queen size bed here. So you'll be able to see the lake. Two nightstands there. And then in front of the window here, we're gonna have a little reading area. So we have a little accent table with two swivel chairs here. And then most likely a chest of drawers right here. And then this wall is going to be full of doors and things, so we'll probably just leave that um, bare. And then a ottoman at the end of the bed there. So that's the general layout idea that we have. Thanks so much for watching my video today, guys. It's actually been kind of a rough week here because we've had some sick kids, and therefore I haven't slept much, my husband hasn't slept much, and it's just been one of those weeks. If you're a mom, you know totally how that is, and I salute you because it is a really hard job sometimes. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and home decor videos and to stay updated on this one room challenge. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye.